<sighs> Why is this so zoomed in? Okay, no. Good morning, guys. It's Marin. It's also Sunday, so happy beginning to a new week, even though you're probably not watching this on a Sunday. Anyway, this is gonna be another what I eat in a day, another pretty typical day of eating. Gonna walk you through all of my meals today, so I'm off to work out. I generally don't eat before I work out. I like to work out fasted because I don't get hungry until around 10 or 11 in the morning. So I'm going to go work out, going to get a coffee. Obviously, my camera's falling, and I will see you when I'm back for breakfast. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're back. Let's make some avocado toast. It's snowing right now, and that looks cute, I guess, from like out the window, but this room is freezing, and walking home today was just like, this is not a mood. Sorry. Sorry, tourists who think this is cute. This is the beautiful breakfast situation that we have. I'm trying to get some good lighting here. There we go. We have some gluten-free vegan sourdough on the bottom. It's from my favorite brand, Coco Bakes. I get it like auto-shipped monthly. I will link her website down below so you can also check out the bread. It's like the best bread I've ever had. Then we also have the avocado smashed on top, some strawberries, some cinnamon, some hemp seeds, some pomegranate seeds, and I believe that's it if I'm not mistaken. So this is gonna be breakfast. I'm so excited for this. If only I could get light that like really showcased how beautiful this is right now. Okay, there we go. On my on my bed, it's a bit better. So I'm going to have this, and then I'm going to go actually drop off my compost because, you know, minimize food waste, and I will see you after that. By the way, I already had my cold brew, obviously, but yeah, that's an every morning thing. Very bundled up, off to make the, like, two-minute walk down to drop off my laundry and compost. Definitely feels like Sunday, like getting everything ready because I have... My big thing of laundry, and then this is my compost. I reuse like empty lettuce containers, which I don't usually buy anymore. I try to always get the loose if I can, but sometimes like it's not available. And then I have these um, stasher bags that are just really big gallon size that I put the things that don't fit in here in. I'm gonna start using my scraps in my Instant Pot to make veggie broth, but this week I just figured I would, I don't have the ones that I can use and the, the vegetables that I can't use separated for the broth and which ones are just gross. So I'm gonna start doing that next week I'll show you guys when I do start using my scraps for veggie broth but I have a whole squash in here because I've had the worst fucking luck with squashes they've all been gross so I'm going to drop both of these off down the street and then I'll see you guys in a couple hours for lunch my lunch today guys is so predictable it's the one I always have with tempeh and sweet potatoes and a tahini dressing I'll show you as it's coming together because this is like the meal every day that I don't really change up because as you can see, this time of day is just like not effortful for me. So um, getting hungry, gonna whip that up.
here's the finished salad in front of all of my my laundry or my sheets part of my bed that like I don't need to wash um, I'm not gonna walk all the way over to the window because this is this is like quite the river of bedding but anyway in this salad we have a base of romaine and kale I make sure to massage the kale just by ripping it up and like really massaging it in my hands beforehand because it tastes a lot better and takes hold to dressing a lot better and then for my dressing I did lime maple miso I use some light sodium like sweet white miso and tahini and dill all mixed up with a little bit of water for the dressing then I have the air fried tempeh or steamed and then air fried tempeh and Japanese sweet potatoes some pickled cabbage some cilantro some pomegranate seeds sunflower seeds nutritional yeast herb seasoning black pepper and Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning over all of this so this is going to be lunch and after this I have a yoga class to teach and then I'll be heading back for dinner. Not sure if I'm going to run by and get groceries tonight or just do it tomorrow, so I will see you later today. Hi! <laughs> I'm back from teaching, so as I walked back I went by Whole Foods to get some groceries because I was out of a lot of things, so I thought I'd show you guys what I got. For my greens as always, basically my go-to greens are kale for cooking and curries and then dino kale for salads and also they can be used for cooking. I got some broccoli, some brussels sprouts, some lime, some baby kale for salads, some tofu and tempeh, some bananas, one avocado which will be ripe in a couple days. A really big plantain. The plantains that they had today were like crazy big. I have one plantain back here that I'm going to try to use tonight. As you can see, this plantain has been through it, but it's like, it's not yellow, which is why I'm confused if it's ripe or not, because I've had it for literally three to four weeks, and it's not turning yellow. In fact, it's getting smaller and like harder. That's what she said. <laughs> Actually, no, it wouldn't be. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm going to try to use this whole thing tonight because I want to, I hope that it's like ripe and ready to be used in cooking, but this could be just a really gross plantain. Anyway. The last two things I got were frozen lima beans and frozen okra just to have because, you know, so that is the grocery haul. I'm going to shower, wait a couple hours, and then have some dinner. So dinner today is going to be a really, really easy, like, kitchen sink tofu and veggie curry over some red Madagascar rice, I believe it's called. It's, like, red, pinky red rice. It's really good. Um, I'm not going to try to do anything, like, fancy for the video today. Like, literally, I'm going to do what I know I love, which always works out better than when I try to, like, make impressive recipes. Like, no, we're going to throw shit together that I know I love. Have a tofu, like veggie coconut curry and it'll be bomb um fingers crossed that fucking plantain i showed you that is like suspiciously green and shrivelly hopefully it's like somehow it doesn't even have to be ripe because plantains you can eat them ripe or not just to be edible um because i'm hoping to do like a plantain base for veggies that i need to use up that i had before i got groceries i have carrots onions and garlic of course and some snow peas and kale so i'm gonna at least do those with some tomatoes as well <laughs> oh kitchen sink is in like fucking everything because I try to do like one vegetable and then I'm like oh I always do onions and garlic I always do kale so it ends up being like 10 but you know first we're gonna interrogate this plantain and then we'll do we'll do the rest of the shit okay it's the moment of truth we're gonna see if this this plantain oh that does not look good okay yeah let's see I'm just gonna like. <laughs> oh yeah, no, totally, totally rotten. Alas, next time. I'll use some of the broccoli I have instead as the, the other vegetable, so it'll be a really basic tofu veggie curry. <laughs>
Okay, so everything is finally all cooked here. I know it's a mess, but what we have is the red rice on the right, and then onions, garlic, cooked in curry spices with fire roasted tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, snow peas, kale, and the air fried tofu, all in a coconut milk sauce. Then I topped it with some mustard, some cilantro, some hot sauce, sesame seeds, black pepper, and a dash of everything but the bagel seasoning. So I am very excited and ready for this. And yeah, this is gonna be dinner, and I will see you for dessert. If you can guess what it is in the comments, like, I'll send you, I'll send you a virtual hug. <laughs> Trying to think of something better, but like if I say anything beyond, if I say anything else, I'll just get more creepiness than I already do. Okay, eating, bye. With my dinner, by the way, I'm having some of this Red Refresh Trader Joe's Herbal Tea. It's my favorite tea as of late. I think it has some hibiscus in it. Yeah, hibiscus, rose hips, lemongrass, peppermint, uh, orange peel, lemon verbena, natural flavors, wild cherry bark. It's really good. It has like a mild cherry flavor and hibiscus is so, so good and high in antioxidants. So highly recommend this. I've been having this every night as of late and um, yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear, but my neighbor's dog is whimpering so loudly and I think this neighbor is like multiple floors beneath me and you can hear this fucking dog crying like 50% of the time. So I feel really bad for the neighbors like next door that really can't get away from this like just un untrained canine. Ridiculous. Ugh, my fucking gas line is on, which is so loud. So like I can't even do a mini story time here. Anyway, what I was actually gonna say is that I'm not, even though I'm vegan, I'm like not, I wouldn't call myself an animal lover. I would just say I'm an animal respecter, like I let them fucking do their thing, like they let us fucking do their thing. I don't feel the need to take on pets because they're cute and I want to play God. Like we need to adopt the pets that are remaining so that we can end institutional slavery basically. And then like just stop, just leave the fucking animals alone. Anyway, on another note, <laughs> on a lighter note, for dessert, if you guessed my chocolate toast, you were right. So for dessert, I'm gonna do this Lakanto, half of this Lakanto chocolate bar. This is my favorite chocolate in the world. It is so good. So I do half of this. I add on some sunflower seed butter and I top it with a date. I was gonna burp, but now I'm not. <laughs> so because the chocolate piece actually broke, I like have it on this little lid here. But as you can see, chocolate toast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like looking behind the camera right now trying to get this in the viewfinder. You can see the dark chocolate, the sunflower seed butter, the date. Yeah, that's it. So this is the last thing I'm going to be having today. I hope this what I eat in a day was, you know, entertaining. I hope it was, I hope it was healthy to watch. <laughs> um, like, subscribe, do all the things if you found this helpful. Leave me a comment if you would like something that I'm doing. If you want me to do something, like let me know content wise. Also check out Rashi, my company below. It's a platform connecting spiritual practitioners with their ideal clients. So if you are in the spiritual community, Rashi is a place for you to post your services or find services like energy healing, astrology, tarot, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. <laughs>